Okay, awesome. So today we've got two amazing guests. This is the first time actually, guys, that we've had two people on at the same time. So this is very, very cool. Um, so welcome to our readers and listeners to the next episode of Becoming Cosmically You. So I don't know who wants to start, right? So you'll have to fight it out amongst yourselves, right? But who wants to start where you began on this journey and, and what you do here for Planet Earth? You can start. Okay, I can say that uh, about 25 years ago, I had a car accident. And um, after the car accident, I started to hear things uh, about people in my ears that uh, when I checked the fact that I got um, with the people, I discovered that the people don't know it about themselves. So I started to share with different people what I got, what I felt about them. And I saw that the messages were very accurate, very clear, and it helped them in their life. And um, after a while, people started to come to me to get advices. And it's, um, it was very interesting, the process. Um, I now know it's called channeling. So I'm channeling for almost 25 years, and um, I'm giving a lot of messages to people and um, we created um, a school, an academy, where we teach people to learn how to communicate with their aura and how to make, for example, their intuition a million times higher or better. And it can guide them in their life in many, many aspects, like finding um, a business partner, finding a life-made person, to find friends, where it's less risky, where it's more risky for them to go and stuff like this. So we teach people how to have their own power, how to really be able to channel their own aura, to talk with their aura, to get messages and to have a beautiful life. Beautiful. I love Even that. Short. I love I that. Say, yeah. I can say that Amir started uh, shortly after the car accident to channel an enlightened being called Orel, O-R-E-L. And this Orel is an archangel that was trained for hundreds of thousands of years to train people uh, to fulfill their life purpose. So we focus on three to four pillars in our work. We uh, share with people their life purpose. Amir is going with Orel to a sacred library where the original soul plan is written by us before birth. It's not Akashic Records. It's a very kept uh, and sacred library where all the life missions that we said we would like to accomplish are written there. So he's pulling this information and together with teaching people how to use their powerful engine that is here around us, which is called an aura. Uh, together, it's a win-win situation. And we also share information how to detox the mind from toxic thoughts, but in a way that is bypassing, I would say in an energetic way, not in a regular way, for example, if I will uh, tell you how much you are beautiful and you are amazing, maybe it will move something within you if you or if a person have a lack of self-confidence. So I can tell him every day how amazing he is. It can move a little bit. Um, the person can move forward a little bit, but with energetic methods, when we involve the aura, it runs faster. And we are able to also fulfill our life purpose faster. And why is it important? You can ask yourself, why is it important to follow my soul plan? Maybe I will just live life and, and that's it. Uh, so there is some importance. Do you want me to tell you why is it important? Yeah, share whatever you like. Okay. So... The soul is reincarnating all the time. According to what Orel and Amir's channelings are saying, is that the soul is reincarnating. So we are all the time coming to live life, learn, people like to say learn lessons. 
or L does not use this vocabulary. But let's say that we learn lessons, we accomplish tasks, we experience things. So our purpose is to develop. And then when we come as a soul after development, we design the next life. In case that we don't follow our soul plan, we don't develop. We just, in a way, wasting time and wasting our life. So what happens according to Aurel is that the soul, if it's not developing, it's not collecting energy. So if we are not collecting energy and you are not all the time higher in the ladder of development, at the end of the, the story, we will suffer as souls. We will suffer as people that come to these lives. We will suffer between lives. So we are souls that floating in the universe suffering. And at the end, we might even not exist because if we don't collect enough energy, we might stop even existing. So the purpose is to develop, to follow each life, your soul plan, to develop. And uh, when we are between lives, we can even contribute to the enlightened world in a positive way. So this is part of the teachings that we get from Aurel. Mm, beautiful. And what kind of um, issues or things that you see in right now in the collective that you're helping people with? I can share with you uh, one or two cases that we helped from the many people that we helped. Um, came to us um, a woman and um, she had a, a thigh um, replacement, like the joint here. And um, what's happened, uh, like she did the first one, usually she needed both of them, but usually they do one at a time to see, because it's a hard operation to see how you manage to deal with it. So the first one, she didn't know us. It took us about eight months to recover and to come back to walking again. And um, at the second operation, she knew us. So we gave her a different exercise to work with her aura to um, work on healing the place and stuff like this before the operation. So the next operation that she had, exactly the same thing, but on the other leg, it took her one and a half months to recover. And at the end of this thing, this person was participating in a dancing party of all the people that were having this operation uh, at that year. So this is unbelievable eight months comparing to one and a half months time. Mm. And she had much less pains. Um, it was really a blessing. It was a big blessing. So this is just one example. Uh, there was another example. It's a different subject. Um, person came to us and uh, this person was an engineer and he couldn't find job that he liked. He really didn't like the job. Didn't wasn't easy for him to find a job and I kept telling him, look, in your purpose agreement, you're not supposed to be an engineer. You need to, you, you can be a teacher, but not an engineer. It's not something that is in your interest. So it was tough because think about it. A person, um, a person uh, that learned many years to a certain profession and for a few years, he couldn't find any job that he really liked. And to live it, it was not easy. So he left it and really learned to be a teacher and he became an amazing teacher. And he used all the information and the knowledge he learned before, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. So he had contact with children, with youth, with young adults. He's not all the time on the screen and people are happy that this person is teaching them have a lot of patience and a lot of knowledge. So it's um, what I like about the work with Aurel is that he can show you what is the direction, what you wrote that you came to do on this planet, and then to work with you, how could you could implement it in your life and have a much better life. Mm. So this I just gave you two examples. Yeah, beautiful. So I think we're seeing this a lot in the collective at the moment, aren't they? I think a lot of people in 3D are really starting to evaluate their lives. And I think the catalyst, I don't know if you saw this, but we saw this, that the catalyst really started um, kind of around the time when COVID hit the world. People started to change 
the dynamic of how they were. You know, a lot of people worked at home. A lot of people's relationships and marriages broke up. And I felt like that was a really solid time where the 3D started to really break down. So I actually saw it as a, a, a very positive catalyst in the world where people are starting to think, oh, my God, I'm doing this job. Do I actually feel aligned to it? And I just love that, that people are actually starting to think in a 3D way, n n you know, not aside from the metaphysical that we're all tapped into, right? But um, I'd love to learn a little bit more about RL. Um, I know you met him after... Is, does he define himself as a male or a female or, or no form or how does he no, no he, he's a spirit yeah so yeah, how yes how like what are the messages that he's sharing right now for the collective like generally um usually he's trying to work with people to help them to develop mm. and um many people are afraid to do many things in their life one of the reasons is that there's so much information on the net. There's no way that someone could know what is true, what's not true. And when you're working with the aura, when you learn to work with the aura, when you're lifting the energy level that you have, it's easier for you to distinguish what is true, what is not true, more is, what is more accurate for you. Um, this is a very important difference because otherwise, if you don't have this tool of working with the aura, then it's much harder to know what to choose, what, what direction to work, what direction to choose in your life. Yeah. I, can, I can say another message that Orel gave us along the years. He said that planet Earth at the moment does not belong to the Federation of Developed Planets. And he came here to help the planet to change the course and to be more enlightened, more advanced, more not technology-wise, wisdom-wise, <laughs> to be more developed people. And the way he did it in other planets and succeeded was the tools that he brings to us nowadays, which is learning why you came to the planet and elevate your aura that more, in most of the planet, 95% of the people are walking more deadly than alive, and their aura is around 10% capacity. And remember, there is not a lot of information that is uh, advanced and updated about the aura. Wherever I look, it's very old information. And he gave more advanced and updated information, and he says that the aura is a powerful engine that can be your compass and protection, protect you, guide you, and help you to go all the time to the next level. So imagine that most of the population are walking with 10% aura with very low energy. So he's giving the tools to uplift it to 90% energy. So if you, if you can imagine suddenly people that are awake, will start to have 90% capacity of the aura, it means that they will find the right life people, right, sorry, right life partners. They will do less mistakes, less, they will less go with the wrong people. They will uh, choose more the right work for them. They will bring exactly the amount of children they need to bring to the world. They will have more wisdom of how to be with their children, how to guide their children, how to be with themselves, how to nourish their soul. They will know if to go watch a movie or do a creative activity with someone. So there will be more clarity for people. At the moment, it's too low. And he says we need to increase it so it will counter the dark, the dark things that are happening. Uh, so if we increase the light, then we can change the course of the planet. And we do it with, as I said, fulfilling why we came to the planet, uplifting the aura all the time, nourishing the aura, and creating the right connections with people, with people that are like-minded, with people that give energy and not suck your energy. So there are many tools that... Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. I mean, there'll be some people on here that will know exactly what an aura is, you know, me included. But there'll be some people that don't even know what an aura is. So could you just explain a little bit about what your um, beliefs or understandings are of what an aura actually is? Yeah, I can I can uh, try to explain. Um, most people uh, think uh, that aura is just a bunch of lights that are around us. There is certain maybe in the best scenario they know maybe there is five chakras here with different colors and uh, root chakra or whatever, and they don't know exactly what the aura do. Now the aura is a very active uh, soul for me, if I can call it, and. Um, She's all the time in connection with our in internal organs. She's all the time checking, for example, what's going on around us. And there is about at least 90 layers of the aura that are in a constant movement. Now, this is in case that people have aura that is developed. In most cases, the aura is less than that, but still the aura is doing very important thing. Like, for example, if our liver is in stress, the aura will be probably the first one to feel it and to try to bring more energy to the liver. If we are feeling not good, she will try to search why we're feeling not good and to try to give us a message. Thing is that many people, most of the people are not connected to their aura, so they cannot get the messages that the aura is telling, telling them. So we're teaching people how to raise their energy with the aura and then they could listen to different messages. So the messages could be, don't go there, it's dangerous for you. Choose this place, it have more energy for you. Or this person is better for you than this person. It's, it's very important, for example, to singles or people that, are, that need to know who to work with and stuff like this. Like so many people are coming to me saying, ah, our marriage is not a good thing. It's, it sucks. And uh, there is a way to improve. The aura also can help you to maintain your relationship. So the aura is, is a mix of vibrations and light. And some of the scientific um, um, things that we discovered lately, not us, that there is light that is moving between cells in our body. We are saying it more than 20 years ago that the aura, the light, the vibrations is going in between different organs. So the aura is a way more detailed. She gives much more than just uh, different uh, uh, places of one, two, three colors. It's much more. It's really an amazing entity that can support us and can help us in our life. I, I would like to answer you uh, in a summarized way. You asked what is our philosophy. According to Orel, the root cause of any issue, whether it's the physical aspect or emotional or mental or whatever you name it, the root cause and the root is starting with energy. So if we have low energy, we can see the influence with sicknesses, diseases, or emotions that are dragging down, uh, down, like that are taking us down. So the solution, let's say, is to uplift your energy. And from where the energy comes, it does not come from a good movie. No, it comes only if you nourish your powerful, superpower engine that surrounds your body which called an aura, which is, which is a natural energy field that was created in order to support us. The only thing is that there is not enough knowledge about it, and hopefully we are going to publish a book about it this year. Um, so this is the main core of the philosophy, but we are very practical people, and our spirituality is very practical. So we, we give a lot of practical tools because we want to see a rapid change on the planet and to make it faster. So it will not take another thousand of years until people will wake up. So we want to help the awakening that 
many people are saying that is happening now. We want to help it with Aurel, and this is why he came. So, yeah. and what what does he say about things like abundance and money and and that kind of energy? What is he his opinion on on you know that area of things? Can you be more specific with the question? Yeah, it's just a question we usually ask all our um, podcast guests, actually, because I know, like, in the spiritual realm, right, there's a lot of, uh, there's got almost two sides of the coin. One side thinks that we should live in, like, abundance and we should be charging for our worth and that type of thing. And then there's the other side of the coin that believes that if we have spiritual gifts, that we should freely give them away and not get, and not ask for any money, money exchange, like, what does or I'll think about how we do things here from a money point of view. Well, I can answer you that. Um, you know, if uh, like even a healer, even a person that uh, teaches spirituality needs to bring bread and uh, butter on the table. And uh, Aurel is saying about that is that you need to um, you need to pay for energy or for information that you're getting. This is a cosmic law that the it have to go with some exchange. It could be maybe something else, but it have to have an exchange that gives something to the person that helps you, give you the information or help you to raise your energy and stuff like this. These things are not given for free because the person that is doing it, if there would not be something that he would get for it. It will actually influence also the person that was using the information as and not giving something for it. Mm. This is uh, this is what Aurel is saying about that. That th there is a belief of some people that it should be free, but no, it's uh, it's something that needs to have an exchange. Otherwise, there is no balance. Yeah, and there is I no flow of energy. Yeah, I agree with you entirely. That's what I always tell people. You know, I, one of our philosophies here is to help guide people to a place where they are living in an abundant world. And like you said, you know, there has to be an energy exchange. Otherwise, it creates a massive negative effect for the person giving the information or the help and the person receiving it as well. We say this all the time in our work. So I really like connecting with people who are on the same page because you know, we need to share this message louder because there are still people out there that believe, even some light workers, you know, they believe truly, a hand on heart, that they should just give and give and give and give without understanding the implications on that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I love that. Thank you for um for uh, channeling that message. So where can people find you if they want to find out more about what you do, like your offers or where can people connect with you? We have a website that is called Heal Aura Academy. It's from Healing the Aura. So it's Heal Aura Academy. And we are also on social media, Heal Aura Official. So we appear on social media and we give services from personal sessions to aura readings where Amir is reading 92 layers in the aura and he sees where, where are the root causes of things from where it comes. So Aurel is guiding us towards fulfilling our soul plan. Uh, Amir reads the aura to see some stuff that is going on that is going wrong. And we have also courses that teaches people how to uplift the energy and also how to start to channel, meaning to receive information from the aura. The aura is scanning the, the surrounding and she's giving every two seconds a message. But if people are not uplifting their aura, they are not able to hear it. They are not able. It's not that they are stupid, not stupid. It's not about this. It's about if you are uplifting your energy or you are staying on the low, low level of energy. So when people are uplifting their energy and they work with the aura, they are able to start to get messages for life, for children, for themselves, for every, every subject. So this is what we do. 
Okay, beautiful work. So, um, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to include any links that you want, so our readers and our listeners can actually find you on our social on your social media pages. Okay, um, and also include your website as well. So, I'm just going to start recording. Unless there's anything you want to share with our listeners or readers, um, I, I like to give one example that um. What we're talking about is not science fiction. We're practicing it for many years and it's helping many people. But I will give an example that there is a place that the aura is helping um, many years in a certain situation. It's where um, women are having birth. So when they have the baby, many times the mother would know, would feel immediately when the baby is crying, even before it's almost starting to cry, or she will feel something is wrong. She will feel you have fever or stuff like this. She will wake up at night many times because, she, and he cannot call her, he cannot speak. And even if you will not cry, she will feel that something is not okay or so-and-so. So this is a good example where the aura is working, where the aura is functioning and trying to help this connection. But this is almost um, the only place in many cases of uh, where the aura is helping people that are not working on the aura. Now, imagine if people are learning to raise their energy of the aura and to work with the aura and to listen to the aura and ask the aura questions, how much they could get information from that if they are trained to do that. So it's a huge, huge um, um, I would say, contribution to their life in any aspect of it. Okay, beautiful. I, I would want to say for, to finalize and uh, the, uh, to, to say that our message is that there is hope when you are working with your energies, you start to have more hope, you start to have more positive thoughts and you start to really change your life and you start to have the power to change your life. So I'm saying there is hope. Beautiful. I love that. Thank you, guys. I'm going to just start recording and then we can have a chat.